that shit would drive me crazy Cause outside, outside is no feelings, baby You say it's hard to tell what I've been thinking lately But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love You said we had it all, that shit would drive me crazy Cause outside, outside is no feelings, baby You say it's hard to tell what I've been thinking lately But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for Good morning, everybody Phone one connected Getting interrupted all over the place Heading off to Mass Street to meet up with Max. We're gonna fly drones again this morning. I really like implementing the drone shots in the vlog. Now that everyone and their dog has a drone and can get drone shots and puts them in their vlog, they're definitely not quite as special as they used to be, but I think when used in the right amount and the right taste, it can definitely add a nice flair to your vlog. So, let's head off to Mass Street. Got my coffee? Feeling good today, boys. And girls maybe, probably like 99% boys. I got my city doing front flips when every father may a rapper jump ship. So, I guess that's why they call it where I stay. Clean up the streets so my daughter can have somewhere to play. Can someone tell me what that is right there? This man's doing a hyperlapse in this. He's getting a hyperlapse in this varsity building. For my real fans. Max and I just got done. We kind of filmed a little on Mass Street. We were going to take up our drones. I think I've explained this, but got a little misty out. We didn't want to risk anything. We were watching each other's vlogs back, and I think we're going to both each day try and give each other a little constructive criticism on how to improve that video and how we can get better at making vlogs and be better at storytelling. So we just watched each other's vlogs and gave each other some feedback. Max has class at 1. It's 11.37. He's going to head back. I am going to the Lawrence River. I want to get some shots down here. Uh, I also just like to come down here. The water is kind of relaxing to look at. There's also just some cool scenery. I'm going to bring out my drone. My bag is waterproof, so that's nice. Anyways, let's get it. The last like week has been kind of unusually hot for late March. It's been like, like 75 or 80, and it's probably around 50 right now, and it actually feels really refreshing compared to what it's been. I've been down here before, so it's not technically exploring a new place, but I don't know, it's just fun to adventure. Looks like the dam is somewhat overflowing, so I'll probably get some sick shots on the other side. We're coming up on a location of a video on my main channel, and I, I'm curious if anyone is gonna recognize it. Here, one sec. Anyone recognize this? This right here? I hear this train, but I can't see it. That would be a beautiful time lapse, though. I'm feeling sick. But I kind of like it. Feels like a cheat. Got done exploring the. I don't know what side that is. That side of the bridge. Now I'm gonna go this way. I've never really gone this way, actually. Can't even explain how massive this tree is. How does this thing float down a river? I don't need ecstasy. As always, Lawrence River. I hope I locked my car. I really, really, really need to get some editing done today, so I'm gonna head back and do that. So since I've been gone, kind of on a little spring break, I had a couple packages arrive in my apartment. So I'm gonna go grab those. Oh, 
It's actually been very like gloomy and gray in Lawrence the past couple days. I mean in Kansas in general. I like the clouds though. So got the mail. One of the things I got was a book and I like to read and it's a new it's the new book by Tony Robbins. I don't get as much time as I'd like to to read and I definitely would say when reading like motivational books and like anything like that, take everything with like a tad bit of a grain of salt. I mean, there's so much mumbo jumbo garbage out there and I definitely listen to some of the advice in the books, but also kind of just use it as kind of like motivation. Like I'll read like 20, 30 minutes before bed, something like that. Anyways, yeah, just wanted to explain that. <sighs> Another thing I got is this little package right here, which came a lot faster than I expected. Said it was expected to sh get here April 2nd, it's the 28th. And that is to fix the smallest, yet one of the most inconvenient things about this guy right here, the Sony RS100. I've been using it to you know, document and vlog and go into places that I can't bring my Panasonic G7 in, and it's really awesome. But the only problem is, is I'm filming outside. See these, these two ports up here? are the microphone ports. If you're outside at all and there's even a slightest breeze, the thing just hisses like crazy. So, got these mic covers right here, and I'm gonna test them out and you know see how they work. I'll put a link down in the description to the ones I bought. Is there instructions or anything? Holy, there's a bunch of them. Thought there'd only be two, but I guess they probably like fall off all the time. Oh, well, they're cute. Maybe there are instructions. Hey, there are instructions. Carefully peel sticker off sheet. Step one, complete. Place sticker over the small holes. I guess I need to like cut this so that it fits, otherwise it'll, you know, restrict the viewfinder. Oh, I didn't mean to turn it on. Or the flash. So, I'm gonna use these monster nail clippers. This might utterly fail, or it could work perfectly. I don't know which one is gonna happen. Hey, it worked. All right, there you go. You can see that. Got one of the mic ports. It has a stereo microphone. Oh, focus. Has a stereo microphone, so I'm gonna have to cut another one. I don't know if that's gonna stay. Boom. I think that should be thin enough so that if I pop this up, yeah, that pops up still. Does the flash still pop up? Yeah, there we go, baby. All right, guys, I'm just gonna do a quick test here and blow into the microphone and see what, what the audio kind of does and see if it's any better than it was before. I feel like it has to be better, and even if, it's, even if it's a smidge bit better, that's a gain in my part. Anyways, I gotta get back to work. I wanna get some beautiful sunset drone shots soon, but I haven't been able to do it because it's been cloudy. Maybe tomorrow. I'm gonna check the weather. Heavy rain tonight, thunderstorms tomorrow, AM thunderstorms on Thursday, Friday mostly cloudy, Saturday part. oh, might get a little bit of action on April 1st, if, if, but is this a joke? All right, there's a little sun coming up in the 10 day, I can deal with that. The next few days look cloudy, which, like I said earlier, I don't really mind the clouds, but cloudiness creates a nice even light. Then you don't get that golden hour, beautiful 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes at sunset, beautiful golden light. Mm -hmm. 